Hello, this is Michelle and I. This is the astrological update for Gemini for the week starting the 26th of September. Now this week there's a new moon and the good news is it's in your fifth house of fun and frivolity and confidence. And that's also right there with Mercury, conjuncting Mercury. So you're like, yeah, I feel good. And you're leaping about being very enthusiastic, very optimistic, very cheerful, and wanting to have fun and pleasure wherever you wander. However, there is also Uranus getting a little bit in the way because it's opposite Uranus, the planet of unpredictability, spontaneous combustion and genius in the 11th house of friendships and a T-square to Pluto in the 8th house. So that's quite full on. I think that you can have some great times this week, that you can really enjoy yourself that you can be cheerful, but you may come across a few curmudgeons, as we call them, a few grumpy peoples who are like, blah, 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 not in the mood to have fun, and you don't really understand it. There is no stop, rewind, or pause button on you this week. So you're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, ah, and it could bring you down a bit. And if you're not aware and you're not tuning into other people's moods, then it could be a bit of a power struggle going on because Pluto is going eighth house, power, surrender. And whoever, either you or someone else in your life, may go into kind of victim or persecutor. Some person's taking the role of the dominant one and the strict parent, and the other one is either naughty child or victim. So well, that doesn't have to happen. Of course, we can avoid all that happening. If you're just sensitive and you're just aware, if you find yourself getting into a power struggle with a friend, or they're not really into your energy at the moment, transform your energy and go elsewhere. But certainly there's something to be looked at in a dynamic, could even be in a relationship. You know, there's nothing worse, is there, than when you're feeling fabulous and you come in the door and you go, oh, I feel great, and your partner's like, Bruh. you know, it's very difficult to find the balance in that energy because in relationships, sometimes there is that little bit of, you know, power play between two people. Don't take it personally. The planets are saying to you, this is something you've got to learn. You know, that's the point of it all. You know, we're in the university of life. And so the planets are saying you can be cheerful, find your balance in any power issues to do with relationships and friendships, and you'll be fine. And also don't get insecure. You know, I've, I've been in situations myself where I've been suddenly gone into a party or a room full of people and been really happy. And then, you know, the energy isn't embraced and then we can get a bit insecure. Don't allow that to happen. Stand in your power and just be gently and maybe quietly happy and be loving and all should be well. Certainly, anyway, this all sounds a bit grim and it really isn't because you should have some amazing fun this week. Basically, don't let other people steal your thunder and your happiness vibes. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Mm -hmm.